Um, next video, the last one today, before I leave you guys, is watching a bit of Crystalia fucking crowd work. This might be brutal, this might be fucking painful, but I do this for the fucking, for the L's, for the lows, for the fun, for the ha-has and hee-hees. So let's see how this one goes, but Crystalia fucking crowd work, half, 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 half hour of crowd work, rowdy show. Chris DeLeo on his fucking YouTube. Let's see what he's talking about here. What up, Pueblo, Colorado? What? Also, if you're a fan of this guy, have you no shame? Have you no shame? Really? Imagine being a fan of this guy, like legitimately. After everything that's been going on, like you have to be a fucking diehard in a half in it. Really and true. But let's see what he's saying. Oh, Pueblo, Colorado. Fuck yeah, dude. Finally, I'm here. Dude, I've been wanting to come to Pueblo for so long since I can't even, I can't even remember when I first started thinking about, you know what, when you grow up, this is what my, <laughs> my dad said, you know what, you want to be a comedian, son. Well, if you can get people to show up in Pueblo, Colorado, you made it. And we're here in Pueblo, Colorado. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm Yo, Chris looking a bit thicker than the Snickers, isn't it? No? Chris looking a bit dumpy dump, no? We all you know Chris looking a little bit thick. Looking a little bit wide bodied. He's always kind of skinny and skinny mini, but he's looking kind of wide, no? Looking kind of wide. That's what happens when you're when you get accused of being a pedo, you just you just comfort yourself in some Popeyes when you get accused of being a pedo. I'm not going to lie. I thought you guys were going to be ugly as shit, but you're not. You're kind of good looking. What the fuck? It's weird. Yeah, man. Let me mention people's looks when I get accused of what I got accused of. That makes sense, doesn't it? Why am I here? Dude, they're... How... Yo. Yeah, hell yeah. You guys are in here. I can't believe you blew past... Dude, how'd you guys get past those two protesters? <laughs> Not the best shot to have on your fucking camera, right? No? With those empty seats in the front. That and bragging about these fans turning up to a show despite the protesters outside is a little bit insensitive. But hey, we moved. It was crazy. You guys are brave. <laughs> you guys are so brave, man. How'd you guys all do this? Excuse me. How'd you all do that? Dude, it's hilarious that they were trying to organize a protest. <laughs> Dude, and two people showed up, man. That's so sad. Do you know what? No, it's hilarious to organize a protest also here. Because it's in the top 10 most violent fucking... <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, dude. Yo, you guys had tell the. <laughs> I just want to make you guys laugh. Thirty people were killed here last year, okay? And I'm just here to make you guys laugh. And <laughs> yo. So I guess that whole like laughing at yourself before you said the joke is something that Brendan's probably copied from Chris, right? Because he seems to find himself utterly hilarious. He can't even finish his sentences. And he's already fucking busting up laughing. So maybe that's where Brendan copied it from. 30. And there's 100,000 of you. 30 people. That means you guys have to walk around like this. There is straight up nothing to do here except get murdered, maybe. And that's why there were two people that showed up at protests. Because they were like, I mean, there's nothing else to do. Let's go, put on the riot gear. Stop, put that away, put the phone away. Bro, I'm a person, I can see it. That's hilarious, man. I mean, it's sad 30 people died, that's not funny, but... I don't know, duck or whatever. Dude, you, there's... Whatever, I'm sad about it, you know? It does suck, but... I just want to make you laugh, and you're like, you fucking know, dude. We'll start from across the street, and then if it looks okay, we'll go fucking maybe closer. You know what I mean? 
little bitch ass. And <laughs> and the, the fucking guy wore a mask. Let's do this. Waste of fucking time. Dude. Imagine, I, I heard- imagine joking about these protests outside of your show when the protests are in basically opposition to you performing based on the hundreds of allegations that you have of sexual assault, harassment, pedo shit. Like imagine this is the jokes that you're doing on stage essentially laughing at your accusers but then when you get on podcasts you try and paint yourself out to be the victim oh i felt like fucking ending it all deleting all my apps right <laughs> as brendan short would say right one minute you're playing the victim next minute you're this badass that doesn't give a fuck choose one identity choose one identity you can't be the bully and the fucking victim of bullying at the same time choose one please heard before i got on stage that the protesters went home <laughs> bro they went home they fucking you got <laughs> that's some bitch shit dude they go like this oh everyone went in oh fuck it let's go man you know be hilarious if they fucking were walking home and they just pop pop and then fucking 32 homicides that would be hilarious so now he's advocating for the protesters to die cool very very tasteful very tasteful chris what a, and he wonders why people hate him he wonders why he gets so much hate he wonders why people come up to the street up to you know up to him in the street and shout pedo right he wonders why he wonders why that's the case he wonders why hmm oh we protest for the wrong shit <laughs> just bleeding out pop, pop. Oh. Fucking fuck Pueblo, Colorado. We should have moved to Portland. Stop saying Pueblo. I don't give a fuck. It's Pueblo? Cool. Pueblo, okay. What are you, the fucking mayor? I don't give a fuck. This place is shitty no matter how I say it, okay? It's not my problem. I don't give a fuck, okay? Our fucking governor said, California. So, go fuck yourself, all right? It's Pueblo. I'm gonna call it Narnia if you keep going, how about? I don't give a fuck. I I I get it, I get it. Do you have fucking Tourette syndrome? What's happening? Pueblo, 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 Pueblo. She had to move here because that was her tick. <laughs> her family's like, what is she fucking saying? I don't know. Look it up. Google it. Google it. Google it. Well, we could. Oh, you know what it is? It's a place in Colorado. Oh, really? Is it nice? <laughs> we could just move there, uh, honey. See what I mean about Brendan. I sometimes understand why he's so delusional about his abilities in fucking stand-up and how funny he is and whatnot i get it because i feel like most stand-up comedians are shit so if this is what the top level people are doing because at one point chris was a high top level person then i'm not surprised why brendan thinks he is also maybe not so far away from these guys because this is fucking terrible objectively so maybe i've got my own you know biases involved in this that's making it hard to me to laugh and shit because of the crimes he's been fucking alleged to have you know committed and whatnot but this is pretty mediocre no is this really worth 30 dollars maybe 50 with some drinks maybe 100 with some parking maybe more than that with flights and accommodation is this really worth that money it's 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 not nice it's not nice 30 people a year get shot and also there's two fucking protesters so we do not want to go. We do not want to go to Pue- Pueblo. Pueblo. What is it? Pueblo? Pueblo? It doesn't matter, honey. The place fucking is an anus. <laughs> the place. <laughs> the place is an anus. Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter, sweetheart. The place is an anus. What's that? Bro, I, I don't, oh, okay. Our, our dating, our cruising, our dating cruising app. 
is 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 northern, is cruising northern. What the fuck is this guy saying? Is that an app that you guys use to hook up? You're the mayor, what are you fucking... Is that an app? Pueblo is a cruising app. There's an app. This guy got booted from Silicon Valley. He's fucking... They're like, your app sucks, bro. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Watch when I move to Pueblo. Let's see what happens, dude. Cruising Northern is gonna be a fucking hit, all right? It's for basically murderers and protesters, and when they link up, dude, when they link up, they're gonna have babies, and then the fucking reckoning is coming. That's what's gonna happen. What's this app, Cruising Northern? What a fucking horrible name for an app. Cruising Northern. Someone should shout out from the fucking audience. Do you still have Snapchat on your phone? Is that what it is? Am I saying it right? Or it, well, why don't you tell me how to say it, asshole? <laughs> cruising, cruising, like zing. Cruising, cruising. Pueblo, 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 pueblo. Cruising. Pueblo, 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 pueblo. So what do you? I think you know what a lot of stand-up, a lot of stand-up comedy probably relies on you being likable, isn't it? As long as your fans like you, then they're probably going to find everything that you do funny because they find you fucking hilarious, you know? That's probably the large part of a successful stand-up comedian's, stand-up comics kind of career is basically currying favour and likability with some people, which is why the ones who aren't successful are probably the most unlikable ones. That's part of it because this is pretty like, like, don't get me wrong. There are some bits in this where I can understand where you'd find it funny. But just think to yourself in your brain, as you're listening to these jokes, do the jokes that he's saying warrant the laughs that he's getting from the crowd? Because one of those girls at the front is fucking waving her hand. She's fucking going nuts in the crowd. as She's bend over. Look, I think there's a bit here. Where is it? Let's see if I can find it. Cruising, cruising. Pueblo, 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 pueblo. Cruising. Pueblo, 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 Pueblo. See that girl there? She's so going, what are you saying, fucking guy? She's fucking, she's fucking going crazy. That got booted from Silicon Valley. Huh? There's an accent? He had an accent, yeah. So what? It was a Mexican one, right? It's a fucking, hey, hey, it's a cruising, hey, because this is Pueblo, Colorado. It's fucking, hey, what's up? The, the fucking app? <laughs> hey, dog, hey, dog, hey, dog, check this out, dog. I got this fucking dating app, bro. It's going to go bonkers nuts. Hey, check this out, dog. This is what it is, bro. You fucking go on, right? Bro, so most people be dating on like fucking real life, bro. Fuck that shit, man. Let me tell you, right? We go to the fucking habit of crime, Pueblo. We make this app called Cruising Northern, Cruising or some shit, bro. I just basically, I love the words Cruising and Northern, so I put them in the app. Fucking, and it's an app, bro. He's the fucking Steve Jobs of Pueblo. He's fucking Steve, he's fucking, he's fucking Steve, Steve Jobs. Hey, bro, hey, bro, don't fuck around. My name is Steve Jobs. <laughs> In Pueblo, bro. This app going to go bonkers on the fucking internet, dog. Steve Jobs, man. Fuck it. And on that note, I'm fucking done. That fucking sucked. Chris Alia is still allegedly a pedo and a diddler. Anyone supporting him is condoning that sort of behavior. And you all probably deserve whatever he is alleged to have done to other people, happen to your family and friends if you're going to excuse this behavior. Don't care. The guy fucking sucks. This comedy special or this fucking out crowd work half an hour is fucking absolutely garbage. And I've wasted, wasted my time and my life and my brain cells watching this fucking horrible shit. I'm fucking done. I'm going to go off to the gym. going to go pump some weights. 
gonna go get angry on the fucking machines listen to some fucking new fucking Lil Uzi Vert play that fucking album back to front sweat some bits come back do the Xeno Zinger show again and then go to fucking sleep because I need to fucking get rid of that shit from my fucking brain but fuck Chris D'Elia that shit fucking sucks don't want any of it whatsoever in my fucking life <laughs>